Hey guys, it's Noah Master, and welcome back to another Redstone video. In this video, you get to see what happens when I am very, very bored. Um, yeah, this has absolutely nothing to do with any of the projects that I'm currently working on. I was just bored, I was making random stuff, and this is what I came up with. Now, I made this kind of as a joke, and like ha kind of half as a joke, and half as something that could actually be useful. Uh, basically, what it is, is parallelogram. Um, it's a ram that's shaped like a parallelogram. Uh, I, I was uh, making diagonal repeater lock memory cells, and I realized that I could stack it like this, with, uh, these are 8 byte units here, stacked underneath each other like this, and little did I know that when I did it like that, it would create this awesome shape. Um, that's pretty much the reason why I decided to actually finish this thing once I put it together and I saw, oh, it's a parallelogram. That's awesome. I need to add add uh, decoders to this and make it a fully working RAM unit and then make a video on it because it's awesome. So yeah, that's basically why, why I'm doing this. But um, truthfully, uh, this it's 32 bytes. Um, based on length, it's pretty short. For its um, memory density, it, it's it's pretty dense uh, memory. It's probably not the best. I think there are some designs, uh, namely uh, one that kind of looks like this. There's a bunch of um, buses. Actually, wait, why don't I just go show? Uh, there's this design right here. I believe this RAM design here might be a bit more dense due to the um, vertical stack, but it's kind of annoying to deal with. So this this actually might be a bit easier to use for, um, especially if you're using like uh, uh, carry look ahead adders instead of carry look everywhere adders for your CPU. So you don't have to like make it vertical, which is annoying. And also another big benefit of this is based on how it's bust. Uh, due to its parallelogram awesomeness shape, the busing for each of the um, units, basically each of these 8 byte units, which are these diagonal things here, there are four of them, which make up 32 bytes, uh, the buses run underneath here for the inputs, uh, these, this is the data input here, and uh, every so often it branches up and runs into, their, um, into each of the 8 byte units, and from the start of the 8 byte unit, there is no repeaters going up any of these lines. So basically, for this busing, you only have one repeater that's slowing it down. Difference between the front there and the back, right, back over there. Same thing with the buses coming back and the buses for the addressing. So this is probably one of the fastest pistonless uh, RAM devices out there. Um, don't quote me on that because there might be there might be better ones, but definitely one of the fastest. And also pretty compact. This is 32 bytes, again. And it's a parallelogram. <laughs> but anyways, enough of me talking. Let's just save some stuff to it. Show that it works. Um, Let's see here. Let's just save 1, 2, cell 1. Or byte 1. Why not? Save it. We'll come back to that. I'll save a bunch of stuff, and then I'll go back through and read it. And then let's save some other number to slot um, 31, which is the highest it goes up to. It goes some from 0 to 31, which is 32. Let's save um, some random number. Let's just turn all the bits on, except for 1. How about 4? Right. And then maybe one other memory location. Um, let's see, let's save this arbitrary number into sl slot um, 14. Why not? Alright, so now let's read this data back out in some random order. Uh, let's Let's start with the first one. Let's read that. Uh, read. Boom. Get our output right up there. 
That's that's what we put in to one. We saved one to one. If you don't believe me, you can go watch the video if your if your memory is that terrible. Um now let's go back to slot 14. Uh read what we wrote into there, which is that. And then uh the last slot, the farthest away. Now I hope you've been paying attention to how fast the other ones are, because when I read this, you're going to notice that it's pretty much the same exact speed. There you go. So, um, yeah, it's pretty fast. It's a parallelogram. Yeah. Um, yeah, I made... Th I, prob I honestly probably wouldn't use this in any sort of CPU or anything. This I made this mostly for fun, because... Why not? It's a parallel. It's parallelogram made out of RAM. Parallela RAM. Yeah. <laughs> I just like that pun. I I keep saying it. I think I think I'm just starting to annoy some people on the server by saying it sometimes. Um. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a quick um little video. Uh, actually, I think that if someone were to get these cells smaller, this type of stacking method could actually be quite uh, nice. These cells are actually not that great of a design, since I'm not that good at designing RAM, to be honest. Um, if you could come up with a smaller design that's more better, no, that's better designed to stack like this, instead of just thrown together, uh, you could probably make something that, that's very dense and very good for computer. Of course, it's still kind of awkward to use, based on the uh, just the orientation. But uh, yeah, this is what you get when I am bored, and I have redstone, and I have a bunch of spare time. Yeah. Anyways, I'll get back to working on actual projects now instead of this, and I hope to see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.